Israel is keen to become one of the world leaders in water recycling and has developed a number of technologies it hopes to export abroad. The Aquis company uses millions of plastic nuggets to break down harmful organic waste. Uh, these plastic things they have, uh, have a very high surface, uh, surface area upon which the bacteria can, uh, can grow and, uh, and multiply. Uh, and uh, the addition of these plastic carriers into an, into an existing uh, wastewater tr treatment plant uh, significantly increases the, the treatment facility of the plant. Israel's first Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion declared the future of Israel lies in making the desert bloom. Avram Israeli displays the drip technology in his Rehovot garden that helped make Israel famous abroad. The industry in Israel, the water industry, is about one billion dollar so far. And uh, uh, the target is to make it a five billion dollar market or export uh, in few years. Therefore, the, the governmental program is working and uh, many, many technologies are now in the, the process of uh, development. The Atlantium company focuses on disinfecting wastewater with UV light, a system that produces harmless microbes instead of the more common use of chlorine to purify the water from harmful bacteria. The light photons actually are absorbed by the microbes damaging the DNA so that microbes cannot multiply. A microbe that cannot multiply is harmless. Counter to other uh, disinfection techniques like using ozone or using chlorine, this is very clean because this is basically using light. While Israeli know-how and technology are positively received abroad, officials have failed to take the necessary steps to solve the country's growing water crisis. And the water level in Lake Kinneret, Israel's largest freshwater source, is expected to reach the black line by the end of summer.